So now let's go ahead and create a new object. So we'll be creating the view object in the same component folder, xx oracle apps per employee. Uh, but then here again, uh, you can directly click on the component name. And once you click on, once you do a right click, it gives you all options on like different components to create. So we'll select new view object. So here we go. Here the path should be dot server. So all the view objects should be under the folder. Uh, component name dot server. So that's the reason we created it over here. And I want to give the name of the component uh, view object as employee evo. I will make it uh, updatable through edit objects. Once you do that, it asks you with the, which entity object that you want to uh, create this view based on. So we will select employee view and it gives you a checkbox updatable. So, so. Let me confirm if it is. Okay. So for now, uh, see this checkbox uh, updatable um, it tells you whether uh, you are going to update any records through this uh, view objects or not. So you can create two different kind of view, view, view objects. One is uh, um, uh, only uh, queryable, another one is updatable. So for now, for, since we are going to implement this search functionality, I um, will uncheck this. That means it is going to be read only. We cannot update any records from this uh, view object. Click on next. It gives you all columns from the view object, which we are going to make yeah. use. Yeah. Um, Prasen, and also you said we can create view object without entity object, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we will see that example, okay, later. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. So now we will create it based on the view. Okay. So now it gives you all the columns available in the entity object. So we don't need all the columns. We need only four columns. Full name, employee number, email ID, and job name. We don't need this who columns. Which is not going to be displayed on the screen. Vivo should hold the record which is going to be displayed and which is relevant to the screen. That's it. If, it, if any of the columns are not relevant to the screen, we don't need that. So only pick the columns which are relevant to be displayed in the screen. So I'm going to select only these four columns. Click on next. And if you see updatable, it is always it is grayed out because we made it as read only, and uh, it is automatically pulled in all the information about the attributes from the entity object, and also it is uh, it is saying whether it is mapped to SQL or not. If it is mapped to SQL, what is the column name uh, which is mapped to the SQL query, and uh, whether it is selected in the query, uh, if it is queryable, queryable in the sense you can query based on the uh, this column. Name. And if it is a key attribute, this is not a key attribute, only employee number is a key attribute. And I am not sure what is discriminator, I will let you know later. Okay. <coughs> That's all. Click on next. What is that? What is that expression uh, column? Expression will be typically the you can give the same name of the uh, uh, column name. Okay, so what usually is it, it, it's it should be it will be the same it will be the same name. Um, okay, but uh, it sounds like when you say expression, I think we can put some uh, uh, logic there or. Uh, yeah. No, you cannot put any logic here. You cannot put any logic here. Okay, so just for the just to put some other name here. There? Uh, we just keep the uh, uh, SQL column name. That's all. We keep, uh, both will be typically the same. If for all you need. Okay. Click on next. 
Here you have the SQL query. So again, if you see it is grayed out. Uh, because we created it based on the entity object, it is grayed out. But we can still overwrite. Okay. Just click on expert mode. Yes, and it becomes okay. editable. Expert mode. So, yes, sorry. One question. Any question? For example, uh, if there is a null value in the column, instead of uh -huh. null, if I want to display something else, what can I do here? You can change it. You can change the query. So here, okay. So here you have to change, okay. Yeah, yeah. But once you change it, it should give the same last name, okay? Don't give the different last name. Give the same last name. Okay. So... Okay, I was thinking that can you use that expression column there? Okay. No, nothing. Okay. You need to do it here only. Okay. So if you want to bring them any calculation and all that, you can create a new column based on that column, okay? Like you want to multiply salary based on 2, multiply by 2, uh, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You can do everything yeah. here only. You can add a new column here. Yeah. yeah. So here yeah, I have created a new column. Yeah, it's add a new uh, column here in, in this page. Mm -hmm. yeah, will it appear in the attribute list? Even if it doesn't appear, we can create it's not an issue. Again, we need to go back and click on new. New new option, right? In the entity of Same way we can create new. Yeah. So you can see that also, okay? Okay. So once you're done, click on test. It will test whether your query is correct or not. I forgot to put a comma. So I just giving you that error. Again, I will put a comma. Query is valid. It's right for this problem. Whenever you make any change yourself, you need to make sure this uh, uh, Make sure to do this test and make sure this giving success. Yep. Click on next. Click on next. Uh, we'll see about this byte variable later. Click on next. We'll leave everything else as default. Again, uh, there is one more, um, uh, there are two more files. Evo defy MPL, it's uh, something similar to Evo uh, def, uh, def, uh, definition of MPL. Uh, basically, these are for validation, okay? Just for now, you assume that. Uh, later, we'll see this. But Evo MPL, you might need. see. Evo MPL, it is not a mandatory that you need to create this Evo MPL. It is an optional one. This Evo MPL represents single record of the Evo. Okay. Evo MPL is a kind of, uh, uh, you can assume like it, re it represents a whole table, employee table. But we were row AMP will represent a single record in that row, a single record of that table. For example, if you want to uh, 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 refer the row number to or employee, uh, uh, the row with the employee number is 2, then you will only uh, make use of this Vivo row AMP. You will not make use of Vivo AMP. Uh, Vivo AMP will be used for like executing the query. Like you have assigned the query now. And you will have to execute the query, right? Uh, execute query should be done. Uh, so that only then the query will be executed. So only all those kind of operations which will be done on the table will be there in Vivo AMPL. But Vivo Row AMPL will be like just a container of the individual records of the table. But then okay. you know, it, is, it is not a mandatory that you have to implement. It is an optional one. If you want you can implement. If you don't want you can ignore it. If uh, you go for this view or MPL again, only when you have an, um, uh, when, when only when you have when you're going to put some custom code on top of the veteran set of Okay. So if you want to put some validation, like whenever uh, you set a value into view row, if you want to put a validation, then only you go for view or MPL. If you are not going to do any such operation, then you leave it as unchecked. Okay, so that mean you mean to say uh, we can uh, iterate to each record of the view object without this row object, row class. Uh, we can do it uh, again, but when you do it, we, you actually do it through OA row MPL, not employee view row MPL. You do it at the OA row MPL, which is global to any view object in the Oracle applications. 
Okay, so but we, we need this row object always, whether it's a... Uh, the a row object will be there by default created by Oracle Labs. You will, you can create, you, even if you create or you don't create, it doesn't matter. It will always hold down row MPL uh, uh, class, a uh, seeded class, which is called OA row MPL. So even if you don't create, it will be there. But if you create a, your own uh, Weaver row MPL, like employee Weaver row MPL, then you, you will have some flexibility, right? Because it yeah, is yeah. your own uh, Vivo row, uh, row MPL, so all the cater and setter methods can be referred to uh, uh, in the Vivo row MPL, employee Vivo row MPL. But if you are generic one, there is a method called get attribute, which is a global. Okay? You need to use the get attribute of uh, employee number, so that's how you should use it. But if you use the employee Vivo row MPL, you can use like uh, employee Vivo row MPL dot get employee number. So uh, that function will be available. So that's only the okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. So to to manipulate each row data, so the way is to go through the row object, either it's a, the standard yes. one or this custom one. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's correct. So click on next. That's all. It gives you a summary on what you've created. So as of now, I'm not I'm creating only a basic uh, view object. So click on finish. And once you're done, don't forget to save all. So.